Hello everyone, great to be with you. We're broadcasting today from just to the northwest of Palma, from the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Mallorca, and they take on Las Palmas. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession, and then counter attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, in this 4-5-1, the striker has to threaten the space in behind just to stretch the opposition, which will then allow the midfield players space to show their quality. I'm looking forward to seeing them play today. And the game begins. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee not hanging about here. He's decided to caution him, Stuart. And he's going to be under a lot of pressure now. That was a poor challenge. Happy to shoot. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Playing it short. Vieira. This is Enzo Loyodis. And a decent save. Full credit. He's driven in the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Vieira. This is Enzo Loyodis. He's protecting it effectively. And tidy defensive play. Muriki. Clément Grenier. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Pejinho. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? 
Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Really good challenge. And space to exploit, maybe. And options in the centre. It's a corner. Going for the short one. Teammate available. Can he finish? A goal! 1 0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Pablo Maffeo. Difficult to stop him. But they dealt with the threat posed. Kirian and Sandro has it Daniel Gatmio repetimos Daniel Gatmio a ver que sea recepción well he's lost the ball well maybe room here for the counter attack it's looking promising Good pick out a teammate. Nicely timed tackle. Vieira. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Well, shielding the ball admirably. Very quick thinking there. Good looking ball. Chance to run at them. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Clément Grenier. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Muriki. Can he find the right pass? Vedat Muriki. Costa. And lining it up, and pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. And he's fired over the corner. Well, not the best clearance. Muriki Can he finish? And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save Well these fans have had to be patient Could this be the equaliser?
And over it comes. Danger still on. Mascarel. And the yellow card for that, Stewart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, there we have it. The half-time whistle here in Mallorca. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half.